Hey everybody, CamiBaker.com here. I am sitting in a studio getting ready to record my book, Mingle to Millions. You know, people don't really write a book anymore, sit down with pen to paper, although I did start it that way. So many people are watching video now that, um, that it makes more sense to actually record a video, have it transcribed, and be able to multi-purpose video, audio, transcription, and have it put into a book form. And so I met uh, a couple of women at a recent event, and uh, Jennifer and, uh, and uh, Melanie, and I will put their link uh, at the bottom here, and I'm going to tag them on this. One of the ways that they say that it's easy to write a book, or video a book, or record a book, or to get your, get your, get your passion and what you do um, out to the world is to come up with the three questions that people normally ask about your profession, your niche, your specialty, your expertise. It's the 1033. Um, so the first 10 would be the questions. And in my case, I, I like to think of it not just about questions people ask, but misconceptions or misnomers. Um, in my case, about networking. And so I've got 10 or 12 things that, that are misconceptions. One of them being, the very first one I'm going to record today, is that there's a difference between networking face-to-face -face or on social media, online, and it's not. It, it's actually, some people will say, well, Cammie, I don't go to networking events. I do all my business online. I don't need to learn how to network. Shame on you, misconception. First of all, uh, we are networking everywhere. I'm networking with you right now, right? Every time we send a text, every time we send an email, every time we put a post on Facebook, we are communicating with other human beings. And so therefore, we want to do it in such a way that we are being received and, and perceived in the way that is most flattering. So we're always networking, or as I like to say, net playing. And so I'm going to be giving a lot of those tips and misnomers in my book. And then the, so it's 10, 3, 3. The, the three is what are the three things, if people knew what you know, what would they be asking you? What would be the advice that you would be giving? And so for me, uh, my three tips will be about what, if you knew what I know, after 15 years of networking and thousands and thousands of events and tens of thousands of business cards and business partners that I've had and, um, you know, you name it, meetup groups, entrepreneurial groups, BNI, Chamber of Commerce, one-hour events, lunchtime events, one-day regional events, three-day national events, one-week spiritual retreats, you name it, and I've been to one. And I've walked on fire with Tony Robbins, for God's sake, like all of that stuff. And so if you knew what I know, what would you really be asking? And so that's three of the questions that I'll be answering. And then the, the third, the second three, is stories that relate to those three things. In other words, people learn based on story. And, uh, you know, it, it's how our ancestors did it. We sat around a fire and told stories about our history, and that's how people learned. We are wired in such a way that we love to learn from stories. It's interesting. I've noticed over the years, and now that I'm cognizant of it, it's really fascinating. But over the years, if I'm reading a book or listening to a recording or watching a movie or a video, when someone says something like, so let me tell you about this guy I was working with, or there was this one time that I, and they're getting ready to tell a real story, I, I, I've always been like, ooh, tell me about that. I've noticed that, that I'm really drawn into stories, and now I realize that the reason that I'm drawn into stories is because I'm a human being, and we're wired that way. We like to hear stories, and we learn from them. And so the, the, all of the questions and misnomers and things that I'm going to be addressing, I'll be giving a story with, but also the top three things that, that if people knew what I know, what they would be asking, I'll be giving a, a story to illuminate each of those as well. So, um, as I move forward, I'm going to pop off of this live video, um, but as I move forward, I will be putting a little bit of this live. So I set up this studio here in my place, and, well, I didn't set it up. Jeff Corzini of Corzini Photography and Video 
actually did. So you can see we've got the lights. We've got a little reflector going on here. We've got a backdrop. And so as you're watching this, you can also watch the process of how the video is done. You know, how he's finding the, the right lighting, the right angles, etc. So I just thought it would be fun to actually um, document what we're doing because in a couple of months when I actually have the book in my hot little hand that I can hand to people who are um, having me come speak to their groups or to my new clients, etc., I thought it would be fun to start off with minute number one of how this whole process is going down. I've been spending a year and a half talking about my book. I've spent hours and days sitting down writing the book. I've had a friend or uh, an editor edit the book. And when I look back at it, it's just too complicated. It's great stuff. Um, however, it's just, it's not what I want to, it's not what I want to share with people at the moment. I think it's really important that these 10 or 12 questions, misconceptions get clarified so that people are able to have clear communication and conscious connections while they are out networking and build those resources, relationships, and revenue that rock. So watch as we get this done little bits and pieces here and there and um, if you want a copy of the book just send me a message and or actually go to my website cammybaker.com and when you go to cammybaker.com just opt in for the freebie there it's 10 ways to take the work out of networking but then you'll be on my email list and when the book comes out I'll let you know about it um, I will probably do one of the you know the, the um, the 99 cent things to, to, uh, to get the book to number one. That's one of the tricks they use, right? So as long as you can get it for 99 cents, why not do it? So I'm going to pop off now. We're going to get ready and um, keep watching. Keep watching to see what we're doing here. Bye.